main pain, so as I got my pains, were in my arms and my legs. Right. And I believe that is related to the fight or flight, just mm -hmm. being stuck in that cycle over and over again and never truly relaxing or replenishing whatsoever. Yes. Mm. And and at that point, did you go and see the doctor, or like did yeah. you get like like what, what what was the path to getting um, clarity on what was happening? The first doctor I ever went to. Um, just maybe I should talk quickly about what I thought led up to this. Sure. Point. Yeah. Um, so I was bitten by a tick around mm. the first time I was getting ill, which was around 2003, 2004. I had the BCG jab, and I felt atrocious after that. I um, was given antibiotics for acne. Um, anyone that has any clue about acne is not related to an infection in your stomach. Like, so what would have happened was I was eating junk, refined products, refined flours, refined sugars, having antibiotics for my skin mm -hmm. and just destroying my gut health. Right. And that was the first doctor. So that was the, another key point to me getting right. out. All these phys everything was just building up on top of each other yes. slowly and i think the te people have a tendency to blame the last thing they remember before getting ill right when it is just the final thing that sets you off yeah they blame the trigger rather yeah they than blame the trigger up. than yeah. everything that came before it you don't get suddenly me right. overnight it, it's building over time and you're not listening to your body yeah. so i would go through my mind when i was ill oh it's that tick bite or it's this or it's that just blaming a single thing and then zoning in on what do I have to do to this single thing and that is one of the reasons why I was ill for 10 years because yeah. <laughs> I was right. just focused on one single thing right I d I'm, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself here but w the main thing that I realized was that it's everything has to change yes everything and everything was involved in me getting ill and everything has to change um, yes, and you had I a bit of a perfect storm of of, of a number of mm. pieces, and to, to use yeah. an analogy that, that we sometimes use, it's like it's like loads on a boat, and mm. if you just have a few loads, it's like that that, that mm. load is sustainable. Mm -hmm. But when it gets to the point, there's so many loads. Yeah. In the end, it's not any one of those loads; yeah. it's the combination of all. You could of have a together. boat with tons of, I don't know, tons of trailers on it right and there could be a bird that sits on it and then that <laughs> yeah, sinks right, exactly it. and, and then, then you blame, you blame the bird, the bird. <laughs> <laughs> right. a lot of people do that a lot of people i speak to do that right and i just tell them it doesn't matter what made you ill now it's important that you focus on recovering and yeah. doing everything you can to lessen those burdens take yeah. them off one by one and just be patient so the moral of the story is don't blame the bird don't blame the bird <laughs> yeah. got it